This is a video guide walkthrough of the notification settings for iScout. I'm on my iScout homepage and at the top right, you can see a messages icon and it shows that I have no unread messages from iScout. There are a couple different ways to get to your notification settings. First, I'll go to my employee profile. And on the right, there is an edit notifications icon right here. I could click that and that'll take me to edit my notifications. Another way to get there is through the messages icon I showed you. You can click on that and it takes you to a listing of the previous messages you have received from iScout. You can click on one to view it and you can go back to that page. And on the upper right, there's another edit notification settings button. Clicking that will also take you to edit your settings. Uh, before we get into that, let's look at the user profile. First of all, you have your email address here. When emails are sent to you, they are sent to that email address. But if you are also signed in through an iPhone, iPad, or Android app, you can scroll down on your employee profile and see your iPhone alerts status and your Android alerts status. I haven't installed the Android app on my device, so there are no devices listed here but I have signed in on my iPhone and I can see that my iPhone is connected right now to my web profile. If I wanted to, I could disable that and tell the system I don't want the website to send me notifications on my iPhone or I can click test. And if I do that, it will send me a notification right away on my iPhone to test and make sure that's working properly. If you have multiple devices associated like an iPhone and an iPad, you can control which ones are receiving alerts here. So that's how you manage your iPhone, Android device, or email address for notifications. So if I go back up here to our notification setting, I can show you what site-wide notifications we have built in. If you have admin access, then you'll see most or all of these options here. If you have an employee access or manager level, you may see a limited number of these notifications. So by default, when an acknowledgement is sent to you, it's automatically going to send you a notification on your iPhone, iPad, or Android device. But you can also opt in and say, I'd like to receive an email as well. If you do that, then you'll get an email whenever those are sent out. We also have a weekly listing of upcoming employee anniversaries. You can get those via email or iPhone or Android or any combination of the three. When a new hire graduates from the onboarding process, you can get alerts via email or iPhone or Android. And again, that's if you have access to view new hire evaluations and graduate information. If someone assigns a follow-up to you, then you could opt in and say, I'd like to receive an alert on my iPhone. And then now that set up that way, it's going to ping your iPhone. You can swipe the notification, open up the follow-up, and actually mark it resolved right there. You can also enable a daily task email, and it's simply going to remind you of any open tasks you have each day. Then we have a whole other listing of notifications depending on the reports that you have in the system. We go into more detail in that on a different help guide, but just to show you a quick view of what that looks like, it's going to be a list of all the reports that you have access to view and then basically you can set up different types of alerts depending on the reports coming in. So you could say, I want every near miss report to be sent to my email address, but I'm gonna go a step further than that and I'm gonna say an email and a ping on my iPhone whenever the severity is marked to high. I can click save. So that's a quick look at how to edit your notification settings for iScout. If you're an admin, you can also access another employee's profile and edit their notification settings as well. So I can go to Richard Martin and I can edit the settings on his behalf. I can make sure that follow-ups are being sent to his email or his phone or acknowledgements are sent, uh, etc. So that's a quick look at notifications.